Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can apply conditional formatting rules in your Excel spreadsheet to help identify trends and patterns and visualize your data set. In this example, I've got a list of two indexes, the S&P 500 and the S&P TSX 60, and I've got the respective returns broken down by year. So my goal here is to use conditional formatting rules to highlight which index did better in a particular year. That'll allow me to identify patterns and any sort of trends as to which one's been doing um, better or worse than the other. So to set this up, I'm gonna start with selecting the values in column B. I'm gonna select conditional formatting, new rule, and use a formula to determine which cells to format. And so here I'm gonna set up my formula to say, okay, equals B1 is greater than C1. If that's the case, it's gonna result in a true value and the value is, and then the formatting is going to apply, the custom formatting that I set up here. So to do that, I'm going to click format and I'm going to use a fill color. That's the dark gray. I'm going to use a font color that's white and bold and hit OK. Now, if that works properly, you can see that formatting is applied. So when the S&P 500 has been doing better, those values are highlighted. So what I can do is replicate this for column C, select that entire column, go into conditional formatting again back to use a formula and this time i'm just going to look at is c1 greater than b1 in this case let's say I'll, I'll use a different formatting i can use a fill color that's perhaps light blue again let's bold let's bold it and hit ok and so we've got these highlighted now the one thing you'll notice that it highlighted my header as well so i don't want this to happen so what i can do is modify my rules and add a second condition and I can use an and function for this and I can say and I can check for that it's a number so I'm going to put a comma so I've got that first condition and I can say is number c1 so making sure that it's a number and that it's greater than the value in column b so I hit okay apply and now we've got got rid of that one thing to keep in mind when you're doing conditional formatting is to make sure you've selected your ranges properly. So for example, if I go into here, I started with C1 and B1, and the reason being the range I selected started with C1. So to ensure my rules are applying properly, I wanna make sure that this aligns with this, that I'm not using C2, C3, and so on. I wanna make sure that what I've selected, this starting point is gonna match up to this. Otherwise, the formula is gonna offset and the formula is gonna to apply to uh, to different different cells, perhaps what what I don't want to happen, right? In this case, it's easier to select the range you want to apply the formatting to, and then just set up your rules accordingly to make sure that everything's in line and you're not having to worry about offsetting um, certain rows or columns. But by doing this, it's a lot easier now to see these trends. As we can see that you know, in, in the early 2000s, the S&P TSX 60 was doing better, but over the past, you know, 14, 14 or so years, it's been the S&P 500 that's been that's been doing much better. So just by applying conditional formatting, it makes it really easy to identify trends like this, and it can save you time and divert your attention to things that you want to focus on. You could, of course, create formulas and, and if statements in here and column D, let's say, to do these sorts of things. But with conditional formatting, it makes it a lot easier and it visually uh, attracts your eyes to specific areas that you want to focus on such as you know what happened in 2016 what happened in 2022 right so by doing that it gives you it makes it a lot easier to analyze and visualize your data as opposed to just seeing a, a whole lot of numbers on your screen by using the colors that can help make it a whole lot easier to analyze your data so that's a wrap for this video if you did like it please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more thanks so much for watching